हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नो चार्ट्स यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट चार्टिंग इंडिया फाइनेस्ट टेक्निकल टूल्स फॉर क्रिएटिंग स्क्रीनर्स सो बेसिकली वी कैन डिजाइन आर ओन स्क्रीनर्स लाइक 15 मिनट ब्रेकआउट स्टॉक्स और 52 टू वीक हाई ब्रेकआउट स्टॉक्स और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आर एस आई डाइवर्जेंस और इट कुड भी लाइक ए पी एस ग्रोथ इन इन केस ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स और स्टेज फोर ब्रेक डाउन स्टेज टू ब्रेकआउट एनी थिंग सो गो टू द डैशबोर्ड सेक्शन हियर एंड क्लिक ऑन द डैशबोर्ड and scroll down and create click on create a new screener so once i click on the create a new screener i can see this screen basically where i will be able to code my screeners now let's take an example where stock passes all of the given filters below this means that all the conditions below this should be satisfied and then only i will select that now if i want to select let's say cash segment i am going to select a segment based upon my requirements if i want to filter out any kind of stock let's say nifty 500 stock then i will click on nifty 500 or if i want to put that filter only in nifty 100 stocks and then i will go and select only nifty 100 stocks basically now this is a very good platform to identify stocks and to identify stocks for breakout as well as breakdowns or any kind of technical tool that you want to use so basically let's see that uh, let's create a condition where i am going to filter out stock based upon open is equal to high right so once i select on let open here okay so latest open is now selected and click on equals high so latest here basically means the today's open and if if i click on one day ago this basically means that i am looking at one day yesterday's chart so latest open has to be equal to latest high so this means that open and high for any kind of particular script should be equal on that day and then only the stock should be filtered from that so i am now selecting nifty 100 here let's again put one more condition that volume of today should be greater than yesterday's volume so i have selected latest volume greater than latest volume now i want latest volume greater than yesterday's volume so i will click on one day ago volume so this is how i will be able to filter out stocks that are matching my criteria and let's run the scan now so i can see that there are two scans that or there are two stocks that are getting filtered out in this scan where open is equal to the high and latest volume was greater than yesterday's volume so let us go and check out the chart hcl tech whether our screener is matching the criteria or not so if i click on hcl tech and if i see here you can see that the open and high that was 953.90 and high was also the same price was almost the same so this is basically a bearish scan that we have made right now where open is equal to the high and the volume is greater than yesterday's volume i can also put similar condition like if i want the stocks that are greater than number 100 okay so if i click on close latest close should be greater than number 20 so what does this basically mean this basically means that all the stocks that are filtering out of the criteria should be greater than number 20 and if i type here latest close greater than number 200 or 2000 let's say now if i have put this condition of latest close greater than number 2000 then basically if i run this scan you will see that no none of the scans are getting filtered out because obviously this is uh, filtering out stocks that are below the 2000 rupees price now i can also export the scan that i have made here by clicking on excel here and once i click on excel the scan will automatically get downloaded and i can analyze my scan as and when i want so let's create a condition where i want to see a stock where the stock is uh, opening gap up for continuously 3 days right so if i want to create a scan like this where the stock is opening gap up for more than 3 days continuously let's say this is the green color bar so what should be the criteria like today's open should be greater than yesterday's open and yesterday's open should be greater than day before yesterday open that was 2 days ago open right so let's go to the charting platform and create that screener now in this case you can uh, how do you manage the filtration criteria basically you can enable and disable the filter using this button of green which becomes red if it is enabled and disabled right so 
let's say that I want to run a scan with and without some filters every time. So I do not have to code it again and again. I can directly disable the filter and run the scan here. So let's de delete this scan as of now. We do not require this scan. What I will do, we will create a screener where our three opens are continuously up. Okay. So let's click on this Let latest close. Sorry, latest open should be greater than yesterday's close. Latest open should be greater than. I will select here close and I will click on one day ago close. So this is how you have created a scan right now. I can directly copy this or duplicate this and change the settings. So latest ki jaga I will write one day ago open greater than two days ago open and two days ago open greater than three days ago open. So in this case, I am looking for continuously three days. Now no stocks are getting filtered here. So let's change the segment and put on cash. So if I click on cash, you will see there are a lot of stocks that are getting filtered out like Shivalik Biometal. Let's check the chart here. If I see the chart here, Shivalik Biometals, the stock is continuously opening greater than yesterday's close basically. So this is how we are able to filter out stocks here. Now I can also add volume criteria like I, if I want that the volume should be continuously increasing, then I will put the volume like one day ago volume greater than two days ago volume, two days ago volume greater than three days ago volume, right? So this, these are how basically you can filter out stocks. Now apart from that, you can also use 15 minute criteria to understand or to filter out stocks basically. Okay, so let's disable all this filtration criteria and create a intraday scan for a breakout stock. So let's see that latest close should be now our filtration criteria is let's design a system where I want to buy a stock as soon as the 15 minute close closes above the yesterday's close basically. So if today's 15 minute close crosses yesterday's close, I'm going to go and buy the breakout basically. So let's create, create a scan latest close. So I have selected latest close here. Now I will go and select intraday time period. That is the intraday candles. And I will select 15 minute here greater than close. That was yesterday. That was one day ago. Okay, so in this case, I have selected a latest 15 minute close greater than one day ago close and I will run the scan here. So I will get all the stocks and let's put the future segment here. Okay, so I am getting all these stocks. Now this zero, this basically, be, um, uh, the zero basically here means the latest candle. The last candle on the chart is the meaning of zero. If I put minus one here, it will show me the second last candle of the uh, basically the time period time period that I am selecting right now. Okay. And if I select zero one here, basically you can see days nth candle is, is equal to one basically means I am putting the first I am uh, let's say that I want to see the first 15 minute candle breakout. So I will select here first 15 minute candle close greater than one day ago close. So this will show me all the stocks where the first 15 minute candle of the chart basically closes greater than yesterday's close and I will open the chart right now. So let's see the chart of I'm getting around 25 stocks here. So let's open BHEL here and open 15 minute chart. If I select on BHEL and click on 15 minute chart, where is my 15 minute chart? Basically, this is my first 15 minute chart and the yesterday's close was this price. So I can clearly see that yesterday's the first 15 minute clock, uh, chart basically on the first 15 minute candle, it closed above the yesterday's close and then it rallied. So let's check one more chart of uh, from the lower side Bank of Baroda. Okay, the Bank Baroda. So here is my 15 minute chart basically this is my 15 minute first 15 minute candle and it basically closed above the yesterday's high right yesterday's close here so i can put yesterday's close or if i want to change the condition to high also i will change the condition to high here and then run the scan so this will help me to filter out more stocks basically that the first 15 minute close is greater than one day ago high and let's say that the if i want to filter out again by the second minute, second candle also should be 
closing greater than first 15 minute candle let's say okay first 15 minute high now this will show me candlestick pattern like this where this candle is closing above the 15 minute of uh, this 15 minute candle is closing before yesterday's high and then i will run the scan so now i am getting only 23 stocks from 85 stocks i will also run the volume here so latest volume should cross that so volume filtration after i apply volume filter the number of stocks are getting filtered so the more the number of stocks that you apply on the chart uh, on this screener basically the more the stocks will get filtered and you will get less lesser number of charts here right so this was about the basics of charting screener and in next session we are going to talk about the indicators how we can use the indicators to identify or filter out stock and in the third video we are going to talk about the fundamentals and how we can apply the fundamentals in the screener to filter out stock if you like the video do share it with your friends and sub like and subscribe to the channel basically right apart from that let's see that uh, if i want to see if the latest close crosses above vwap okay latest close crosses above vwap that means i want to see the 15 minute candle i will put a 5 minute here so i want to see that the latest 5 minute candle whenever i uh, i should get a filter where let's say this is the vwap line and if any of my 5 minute candle crosses above the vwap line i should get the filter basically now in this case you will get lot of filters why because all the stocks that are crossing on the 5 minute chart any time during the day and you will get multiple number of signals why because because let's say that this crossed above the filter and it was uh, sh uh, shared in the filtration criteria and it got filtered out but after some time it again falls down below the vwap and again crosses like this above the vwap on 5 minute then it will again come above the in the filtration criteria right and then get filtered out so basically you have to select the time period here in case you want to specify the candle that you want to select the first 15 minute second minute or whatever the candles is or you can also select the yesterday's candle based upon the time period that is there uh, if i want to select in case of five minute if, if i want to select a weekly the a weekly the latest week close crossed above one week ago high okay so this will show me the criteria the filter uh, this will basically show me the stocks that are getting filtered out in this criteria where one week ago close crossed above one week ago high basically right so if you like the video do share it with your friends and if we get 100 likes on this video i will come up with the second and the third part where we will cover how to add screeners into the dashboard you can create such beautiful dashboards like let's i will show you some of the dashboards that i have right now so this